Good morning, everybody. It's kind of early in the morning. We have a little road trip to go on. So anyway, I found a good deal on Facebook for an Outlander 850. It's a 2021, but it's four hours away. The guy told me he'd meet me. He actually was a fan of my videos, so that was super cool. And he said, I'd really rather sell it to you to see somebody build it. And ultimately, I want to surprise Luke with it. He has no idea that we're going to go film this. I'm supposed to be at work today, but instead we're going to go pick up this Outlander for him to give him something to follow me with. So we're going to jump in the white truck. We got a little bit of a road trip today. And, uh, uh, we're gonna go get that for him. Anyway, I'll tell you more details in a minute. Let me get on the road, let me get my maps put in, and I'll pick you guys up in a second. So Miller asked me where I was going this morning. I'll probably tell him here in a second. But we still have basically like an hour and a half to go. He's actually being nice enough to meet me about halfway because he's four hours away, but I'm pretty stoked. So it does need a front diff, and there's something up with the brakes. But for the deal that I'm getting it for, it's well worth it. And he knows that he listed a little bit cheap, and I'm getting on a phone call with him talking for a little bit. So I appreciate him for that, and really appreciate him for meeting me. And and we're gonna go pick this thing up, get it home, probably get it washed and prepped up, call the boys over at Performance East and get some parts ordered for it and uh, surprise Luke with it. So we're just pulling up. She looks a little dirty. She needs a bath. We're gonna talk to him, get this figured out and go from there. All right, so we just picked this thing up. She's a little rough. It's gonna need a front diff, I think a rear axle, and then right. it's gonna need rear U-joints. But it runs great. I looked in the air box and stuff, and typically you can tell. I don't think this thing's ever been sunk. But for the price that I paid for it, there's plenty of room for this thing to be cleaned up. You can see it back there. In my opinion, ugly Can-Am yellow. It's gonna need bumpers, it's gonna need headlights. So all in all, I'll probably be into it in like two grand in parts, but still, I think I got it for a damn good deal. It'll give Luke something to ride. I'll catch you guys back at the house tonight. I'm actually going straight to work from here and basically I'll pick you up after I clean it up and we'll get Luke's reaction to it. So I didn't even plan on this, but I was passing by all these skid steer buckets and I remembered that Mr. RPM shop is literally a mile down this road. So I just gave them a call and I think while we're literally right here, we're gonna go stop by and let them throw a tune on this thing and that should help keep that temperature down, give us some more power. And I know they'll probably laugh at the condition this thing is in because it is rough, but I don't care, not for what I paid for it. But we're in Denton, North Carolina. This is their shop right here. If you just look up Mr. RPM, they'd be more than happy to tune stuff. They're able to tune my 22 Renegade, and holy crap, I've got nothing but good things to say about that tune. It woke it up, and it is a beast. So if you're in North Carolina or close, I know they allow you to send out your ECUs to them. But anyway, I'll throw a link in the description for their shop, and you know maybe you want to get your stuff done. And it was very reasonable to do. So anyway, so check them out. We're going to go take this thing around back and get it tuned real quick. So we're actually going to leave the Outlander here for a minute. I'm just going to come back after work and come pick it up they're only about 45 minutes away their tuning system was down at the moment so he said they should be up by around two three o'clock and then i can come get it after work so we're gonna go to work then i'll come back pick this thing up get it home cleaned up we'll catch you guys in a few Oh, that was funny trying to load this thing. The problem is it's literally so damn tight to fit this thing in here that you don't have an option but to kind of just send it up in here. All right, but anyway, we'll catch you guys at the house when we see Luke. All right, so I just pulled up to the house. It is getting darker by the second, but I told Luke to meet me out in the garage. All right, where you at? So you know how I love good deals. Just like your work truck. My work truck was a good deal. The work truck was a great deal. Where did it? So no guesses at all. I have a few guesses, but I don't all want right. to guess it G right. Give one guess, give one guess. Four wheeler. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so you got a good deal on it. A good deal. It's rough. How much do you think I paid for it? It does need a front diff. What is it? It's a 2021 Outlander 850 XMR. Like eight? 5,500 bucks. 55? <laughs> oh my god. Now you see why I bought it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was gonna it's, say. it's rough. It is rough. It needs work. Thank this dude god. liked to play freaking bumper cars like I did. Something's not tight in that. Anyway, I'm gonna get this thing pulled out of the truck and washed real quick so I can probably pull it apart and figure out what stuff I need to get ordered. And then we'll call up Performance East in the morning, get that stuff ordered. So now I don't have to drag the X3 everywhere when I, I go ride it. So still, I'm not against using this, playing with it for a second, selling it and getting a Honda or something. Cause we were talking about buying a Honda for Luke to have something to ride with. And so I can make some drifty content. But I feel like an A50 is a little excessive for you, but yeah. So I figure we'll hit up some sponsors, get some headlights and taillights for this thing. I gotta find something it's like parting one out and we gotta get the housings for this so we can put the RJWC headlights. We're gonna get this thing unloaded and we'll catch you guys in the garage in a minute. Yeah. 
All right guys, welcome back. It's been a few days. I've pulled this into the shop and we've kind of looked into it a little bit just to find out the major stuff that I need. But if you come over here, so we're definitely gonna need a front diff. This is actually a piece of the casing. If we go around the other side, you can see where it's broken. I was talking to a buddy and he said, it's common failure on these factory K&M front diffs for the 21s and 22s that the bolts will actually back out and shoot themselves through the casing. So I think that's what happened in this case, literally. <laughs> so besides that, we need a steering pitman arm bushing. On top of that, we we need two front wheel bearings and brake pads all around. And one other thing that I totally forgot about and Luke just reminded me was while I was on my way home, you guys just saw that I got this thing tuned. So that gives us the availability to put an aftermarket exhaust on this. I'm not sure we might go with the RJWC again. I really love how my cross flow sounds on my Renegade. I don't want anything stupid loud just for the elements of where we ride. And other than that, this thing looks rough. It needs to get clean. I need to pull it out full detail. We're gonna paint the bumper, paint this, paint this. Luke might try wrapping the plastics because we don't love the yellow, but we'll We'll see and then I lastly I need to find some headlight housings and then if we get some maybe like RJWC lights for this thing we can put those into the factory housing we got a little bit of a parts list but not terrible I think we're gonna be in the clear for what we paid for it what we'll have into it I know my buddy Jesse's gonna make a rear rack for it just like the one we have on the Renegade so if you're looking for something he makes them for the Renegades and Outlanders and maybe just do some snorkel risers on this thing and lastly it would maybe be a set of wheels and tires but other than that this thing's not that bad and i think a pretty good purchase for a 2021 and to have an extra rig around for luke to ride really nice to have so i don't always have to take the side by side out we're going to go over to our local dealership iron horse i need to get a few things just so i can drive this thing around i need those rear u joints i do know that iron horse has some 2023 units so we're going to go over there go check those out compare them tell you guys what i think and if i think it's worth the upgrade we'll see you guys there in a minute All right, so we just got done getting some food. We're pulling up here at Iron Horse, which is my local dealer. Austin shot me a text and said, hey, we've got some 23s in. Any interest? And I was like, ah, not yet, but I definitely want to come see them. So it looks like they have some Outlanders. I really hope they might have a Renegade. Two XMR, three XMR Outlanders. But we're going to hop out, check out these 23s, and then we'll pick you back up at the house. All right, so we just got done talking with Austin and Hanson. But we're going to come over here and look at these 21s. First impression, seeing these headlights in person, I don't think I like them. They just like, this just screams CF Moto. I mean, if you look straight in them, they look like little light bar pods. I like the RJWC halos I way heard, better than these. If you're gonna do LED fronts, you might as well do LED backs. Yeah, so. Yeah, they're still bulbs. They haven't even changed the back bulbs yet. At the end of the day, these 850s are like, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck package, just cause you've got the rag kit. The snorkels are already somewhat up there. You can extend them pretty easily. They're short frame. They have a hell of a lot of power and they're way cheaper than the Renegades. Look, this one's already sold to a Hunter Davis. Hunter Davis is getting a shout out right now. Look, they've got a different uh, switch thing because before they had them button right here, which I don't like. My Renegades got it up here. And then the Outlander, the new Outlander has it here. Still with the 22s and 23s is they don't have bead locks on these. They do on the Renegades. They really just changed the headlights. And Luke was telling me that these don't even have the IEB for the engine braking yet until late 23. So in my opinion, if you've got a 22 or 21, there's no point in getting a 23 until the later 23s come out. Because the 21s and 22s have the front diff lock. This is just a 22 with headlights. With a facelift. This is what I'm thinking. Let's paint this all black on, on the yellow one. On the yellow one. But anyway, we're gonna go inside. I gotta grab a few parts and then we're gonna get back to the house, finish filming that stuff and then go from there. So we'll pick you guys up in a little bit. All right, so we're just pulling back up to the house and uh, we got the Outlander and the Renegade pulled up. To see the difference of the height of a stock bike versus one on Sass, he's like, the ground clearance is wild. It's a definitely two inches. But like snorkel height, for the Outlander, I can only go to here. The Renegade, I can go all the way up to here. Vent lines. And this is everything. Vent lines, intake and exhaust. So these things get water in the belt a little bit easier. I like the rag kit on this better, but these come factory with the rag kit. Hey, now we can do a comparison video, Outlander versus Renegade. We're gonna finish getting this thing wrapped up. I've got parts on order. That'll be the next video, getting those installed and whatnot. It's pretty cool to see the difference of the new 23s. Obviously, the yellow one's a 21. The Tan one's a 22. Not much has changed except for the headlights. If you already have a 21 or 22 with the diff locker, I wouldn't worry about getting a new unit. I'm gonna see what the, the late 23s have in store. It might get one of those. If not, I really don't wanna wait till 2024. But if they don't change anything, then I don't see any reason to change what I have. We could put new headlights on the Renegade and you'd be like, oh, it's a 23, because it's literally the same at the moment. We might upgrade that yellow one for something a little bit nicer after we're kind of finished with it. We might build it. Maybe if the motor blows, we'll do nitrous on that. I don't know. Other than that, if you stayed to the end of this video, I know it was a little 
little bit different of a video. I am super pumped to have finally kind of surprised Luke with something. Now he's got something to ride. But other than that, anything else to say? I don't like the yellow. It's clapped, but we're gonna make it nice. It's got potential is what he's saying. Comment what kind of exhaust we should do on that. Any other build ideas, maybe wheels some- and tires. Yeah, wheels and tires. And any other wrap ideas for Luke, maybe some design, something cool. I think he- Color, yeah, color wrap. All right, we're just ran. I'll let you guys go. Like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And likes definitely help the videos. We'll catch you on the next one. See you next week.